Um, you can also add in noise, but we're not going to do that right now just because it takes so long to render. Um, and also it's more of a digital look. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and pre-compose this. Uh, command sh or Control Shift D or C, Control Shift C on a PC, uh, Apple Shift C on a Mac. Um, I'm actually using a PC keyboard right now on this Mac, so it's very confusing. Uh, I'm going to move all attributes to new composition and press OK. Uh, so now we got this. And then we're going to go up here and pick the rounded rectangle tool. If you're on 6.5 or lower, sorry, you don't have it. Um, I'm going to hold the. Uh, just try and make this mask fit as much as possible. Um, rotate it up, you know. Play with some of these edge points here. Just try and fill it out as much as we can. That should be good and we're gonna turn off the yellow lines and then hit MM twice and then feather the edges and maybe bring the expansion in. And then uh, bring the feather down maybe. That just hides the edges a little bit better. Also makes it stand out a little bit more on the on the laptop. Um, so right now you can see that we have a we have him, we have the reflection in the background, we have some of these digital, you know, this grain and this uh, these horizontal lines that move around with the footage, and of course it sticks to our uh, laptop, you know, like we filmed it on there. And, uh, you know, you could do more. You could, like I said earlier, you could add the grain if you want, but uh, it's going to take a heck of a lot longer to render. And, uh, well, it, it is going to make it look better in a digital way, you know. It's going to add, like, some of those digital colors in, you know. But it uh, it might just be a little bit distracting, especially with the grain. Um, another thing I kind of want to talk about is the... Is the... Just a sec... Turn all. I'm just gonna turn all these effects off for a second. Good. And then I'm gonna go back to our uh, our comp. And uh, oh, <laughs> well, maybe I should turn the corner pin back on. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over some of the some of the TV settings. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at some of the uh, TV presets. So if you just go over here and you type in a uh, TV, you get um these effects here you get your uh, TV 1 bad TV 2 bad and TV 3 bad presets here so what we're gonna do we're just gonna go through a few of these um a few of these and what they have so let's take the first one the uh, warp we're gonna apply it and it's automatically gonna apply all of these effects to it so um, most of these while well, they're pretty straightforward you know you got your uh, grow the browns it, it just kinda makes it a little bigger we don't act, I don't use that I don't like it the waves uh, yeah, I don't like it. You know, you can modify it, kind of. Uh, let's see here. There we go. It was that one. Like, you could somehow keyframe this to make it look cool, but maybe if you have, like, an older TV, one of those old tube TVs, but for, um, the screen here, we're not actually going to need that. We have the, uh, transform. That just kind of displaces it a bit. It kind of makes it, you know, kind of move around a little, jiggle, but we don't need that either. This is for the uh, color balance. It just kind of changes the colors to make it look like a TV. That could definitely come in handy. Just adjust that. Um, here's the noise that uh, Zane was talking about earlier. It just adds a little more, like, kind of a digital grain to it. And then, of course, the uh, Venetian blinds, which you can just modify these how you like it or how you want it to look. I'm just gonna take all these off. Um, I'm gonna look at the other ones. I'm pretty sure they. Pr I think they have the same thing. I'm just not sure. So this is pretty much the same thing, except the uh, effects are just more intense. You have, you know, the warp, the warp factor, and you know how, like, how much, which direction. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, you know, you got the phase and all that stuff, pinning. You know keyframe this but for this screen we don't really need that this is just another color balance it's just slightly different than the one before kinda like night vision now <laughs> that's cool um, let's see what else so we have the uh, noise again that one's using pretty much all of them yeah you can add a lot of noise to that kinda like an old VCR tape then we got the uh, blinds again which is used in all of them this is actually yeah this this looks pretty nice 
I can adjust this. Huh. So let's look at the uh, old. So this one, it just really discolorates it a lot. You got your waves. Then we have the um, a box blur. You know, that's just you know a simple blur on it. You could keyframe that to make it look it's like phasing out. That'd be cool. We have the uh, color balance again, which you can adjust as you like. Kind of like a Game Boy Color screen now. <laughs> then we have our uh, noise again. That doesn't matter much. And then the uh, Venetian blinds again. So there was a uh, quick look at all the um, effects from the bad TV settings. Uh, yeah, so uh, with all that in mind, you got uh, some pretty cool things you can do for, as a screen replacement. Um, another thing I kind of want to touch on that I did in my first screen replacement tutorial was um, this screen is not green, obviously. Um, but it is much easier. If you applied all these things um, in this tutorial to the last tutorial, you could have something that's even better. You know, have like the screen behind this uh, this frame here, so it looks like it isn't pasted on top as much. That's why we feathered the edges out as much as we did to kind of hide that. Um, but you can, you know, you can actually have it behind the screen if it is screen or a green screen. Um, this green screen though wouldn't have worked just because of this. Um, another thing you can do though is you can uh, is you can uh, create like a mask so you can create like a solid um, under here yeah you can create like a solid and then make the solid like a uh, like kind of like a mid gray color and then just use that as like a use that as a track mat underneath of this to kind of place the border under but again it's uh, you have to be really precise in your motion tracking so you know, uh, this tutorial serves as you know a really cool way to uh, to add a an old TV or a screen replacement look, but also do not shoot your footage like it was shot here. Do not shoot it with like you know a washed out light behind it. Make sure that the screen is very visible and make sure it's green. You know, I'd put that you know as one of the most important things. Um, you know, obviously this does give you the, the tools to do it without a green screen and, uh, you know, that can save your, you know, it can save you in a lot of situations, but, you know, ideally you would want a green screen. So, that uh, this is Zane Olson. And Kevin Littman. And that was another Ion Films tutorial, and we'll see you guys next time.